Hey guys, this is Clinton Jeff from UnleashTheFrontsTar.com and here's a quick video review of the Nokia Lumia 510. It's a budget device from Nokia. It's uh, basically their entry level smartphone right now. It's one of the most affordable uh, Windows phones currently on the market. And uh, at the front you have a gorgeous 4 inch um, LCD which is uh, pretty large. Powering all of this is an 800 megahertz uh, single core processor which isn't much. At the back you have a 5 megapixel camera uh, which is autofocus and um, no LED flash though which is a bit of a miss. Um, so as you can see the the phone looks quite nice. Um, it looks a little bit more traditional than the Nokia Lumia 800 but uh, you do have very solid build quality. Of course the black version is a little bit boring as you can see the, the phone is also available in um, uh, red, yellow and uh, white I think among other colors. Um, so yeah the black version, if you're thinking of getting this do not get the black version it's a little bit boring. Um, but yeah build quality is solid and it fits very well in the hand thanks to the little curve at the back right there. Um, so no complaints as such but it is worth noting that even though that the, the back panel has a very nice soft touch material, it does catch fingerprints very easily as you can note right there. Along with the uh, front screen as well, it does catch a lot of fingerprints and I just wiped this before this review. So uh, what you're seeing right there uh, happened in the last couple of seconds. Um, so yeah, that's worth noting. It does get dirty quite easily. At the bottom you have the same Windows phones, uh, Windows Phone keys um, for Windows Phone 7. Uh, it would be nice if it had the new Windows Phone 8 logo but hey, I guess that was made before it was released. Uh, at the top you have a proximity sensor that's hidden and a centrally located earpiece right there. Uh, no front facing camera unfortunately which is a bit of a sad deal. At the side you have the um, Volume rocker switches right there, and a screen lock key, which locks the, which locks the key the screen, can also be used as a power button. Um, and you have a dedicated camera key, which you can press at any time, even from the lock screen, to get to the camera. Um, as you can see, it takes a little while because of the slow processor, but it's not too bad. Um, at the bottom, you have a lone micro USB charging port. Um, and at the top you have a standard 3.5mm audio jack. So yeah, it is quite minimal in terms of ports and keys. It is a standard Windows Phone in that regard. Um, it runs Windows Phone 7.5, which we've covered before. Um, you have the usual live tiles all over the screen and they all animate. Um, it's not as smooth as on other Windows phones, unfortunately. The 800MHz processor and the 256MB of RAM means it's a little bit weak compared to the other Windows phone devices. Um, just to show you I'm just going to quickly open up a couple apps right there and you will see that it takes a little while for it to load all the apps right there so it is a little slow. Um, even switching between apps can take a while for example if I open the camera app it loads pretty fast but if I open up um, a more demanding app like Nokia Drive it does take a couple seconds to think and actually remember what I'm sort of trying to do and there you go it starts working um, so yeah that's a bit of a disappointment uh, there, is, there is some choppiness when you're scrolling around um, and it does take a little long to s switch between apps um, and another annoying thing is that many apps cannot even be installed like um, Angry Birds for example because of the hardware limitations um, there's a bit of a disappointment you can't even install Skype because of course you don't have a front facing camera um, but you also have that hardware limitation which is a little bit annoying but um, yeah just to show you a little bit about the screen at the front you have um, a 4 inch screen at 480 by 800 uh, pixels resolution it is quite nice um, it is a little low resolution compared to most of the uh, screens you see on the market right now but it's not too bad. Um, of course, it's nothing as great as the Lumia 800. Um, it's almost the same as the Lumia uh, 610, to be honest, but it's a much bigger screen. Um, it's okay for an entry-level smartphone, but you will notice that there is only uh, 65,000 colors in the screen, so gradients do look a little off a little bit, um, but it's not too bad at all. So uh, yeah, moving on, there's also um, Internet Explorer, which does a pretty okay job at browsing websites. Um, it does take a little while to load up some heavy websites though, but um, it's not too bad. Uh, it does take a little while to load. You can zoom in and uh, pan around very smoothly though once a website loads up. Um, 
Apart from that, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the uh, camera. The camera is pretty decent. You have the usual Windows uh, phone UI on the camera where you have a s couple settings right there that you can change. Um, it's uh, okay average quality I guess it's not too great it's a 5 megapixel camera that can record VGA resolution video so you are limited in terms of video um, in daytime you get pretty okay shots and night or indoor shots you get a lot of noise which can be a little annoying uh, moving on to music and media um, the music player is pretty okay you also have knocking music built-in with three months of knocking music unlimited um, it takes a little while to load so I'm just gonna uh, skip that for now I guess yeah I should skip that uh, so just to show you whoops just to show you the uh, music app again um, you do need Zune on a PC or a Windows phone connector on a Mac to uh, transfer music to it so there isn't actually any music in here right now the UI is quite nice and you sort your music by playlists or albums or artists so it is quite nice um, coming to videos you can play a maximum of uh, 720p but it's a little choppy so I would recommend sticking to VGA video on this um, apart from that call quality is pretty good you have a decent uh, clarity I guess it la voice is coming loud and clear um, there is no second microphone unfortunately so there is no noise cancellation so folks on the other end of the call did say it was a little bit noisy but it wasn't too bad uh, underneath this you have a 1200 1300mAh uh, battery which I'm going to try and show you right now um, and the micro sim card slot right there so uh, your, it lasts about a whole day it um, does require um, charging every night though I would I would recommend charging it every night you can get about a day and a half of uh, moderate usage out of it Alright, so to conclude, the uh, Nokia Lumia 510 is a pretty decent um, entry-level device. Um, it, considering its price and the features it offers, it is pretty okay. Um, you will have to note that it does have a lot of performance issues in terms of a little bit of choppiness here and there and um, very limited apps because some apps will not work on this. It's funny though because if you get an Android phone for the same price, um, you will get a lot more performance issues than you will with this. Uh, so it's still faster than an Android phone at the same price range. Um, I would recommend personally saving up and buying an Nokia Lumia 710 instead of this. Um, of course also you might get some of last year's mid-range Androids like the Xperia A for the same price range. Um, but all in all it's not too bad a device just know what you're going in if you're considering it. Um, check out our detailed review over on unleashthephones.com for a better idea of what I'm talking about. But if you have any questions let me know over in the comment section right below.